Hey guys, we're back in my trap and effects factory, and I'm going to show you two different active tile mechanics that you can use. These are uh, really important ones that you can use in a lot of places, but let me just demonstrate here. Our player wants to open up a portal, um, but in order to do that, he, he needs his friends to all activate these positions. But if a friend isn't on a position, it shuts off. So this is a really actually hard thing to do in Foundry, um, but I'm gonna show you how to do it with active tiles. We're gonna use some creative pieces to get this together. And so let's jump into it. So we're in the GM view and I'm gonna move this tile out of the way because we're actually dealing with two tiles here. And I'm gonna show you how to make a pressure plate. Pressure plate just means that, you know, the token's standing on it and then when it leaves, it's you know, no longer activating the effect. So let's look at our two pressure plate tiles here. Pressure plate one is showing this JB2A tile here, this animated glyph. It's playing this sound on a loop. I'll just show you what some of these things look like. You can always pause it. And, uh, and then it's uh, doing something very specific here. It's triggering, triggering a token called the trigger token. I'll use that uh, tagger tag. And it's changing the value, it's altering it. it. This is actually the alter action, not the trigger action. It's altering the value of Y. That's its position on the map. And it's just saying plus 100. And it's very important that you have this little space here between the plus and the 100. That's what calculates it to go up. And by the way, and that triggers whenever something enters it. So it enters it and all this stuff turns on and there's some token somewhere that moves. And then if something exits it, then it, it reverses everything. It hides that glyph. It stops that sound that was playing. And then it's going to alter the trigger token by minus 100. That's 100 pixels on the board here. And if this is 100, 100 pixel squares, then it means it's going to move some token somewhere by negative 100. And that's on exit. So when you put those two on top of each other, it effectively creates a pressure plate. A player that enters will activate everything and it'll deactivate when it leaves. So that's uh, mechanic number one important to know. Now what's happening here? Well, over here on the margins of the screen where the players don't see it, I've got two other things going on. I've got another tile that activates essentially like a pressure plate. It is a pressure plate. Notice it's two tiles. And then I've got this token out here and this token's called a trigger token. And I'm going to go ahead and open that up and I'm gonna give it a tag of trigger token. I'll show you why I'm gonna do that later. What happens when a player goes into it is it moves that token by 100 pixels this direction. And if I leave, it moves it back. So essentially this is a success and this is a failure. And I can accumulate successes. So I call this an accumulated success trigger. And you can use this mechanic not just with pressure plates, but anywhere where you want to have puzzles, traps, if you want uh, certain players to walk into an aura. And as they walk in with certain attributes, you get another incremental success, but any incremental success will push this trigger token towards this pressure plate. This pressure plate set up just like the other ones where it's just activating an ambient light. It's showing this portal tile, another JB2A tile, and then it's activating this special teleport tile here as well. And then of course its pair is deactivating it when something exits, right? So this is just activating the final reveal effect. That's what all this pressure plate is doing. And this pressure plate works because it's detecting this token entering it. And so if I add all of my accumulated successes up, my trigger token moves forward. And now it activates my final pressure plate and my final reveal is there. You could have any other six final success happen after this. An item is given, a door is unlocked. There's all sorts of things you can do with this mechanic. And you can even stack them. Um, I saw Jinker in Iron Monk's Discord actually put three of these next to each other and had this really interesting light and mirror effect that, uh, that players, when they pointed all the mirrors in the right direction, would unlock a door. So you can get really creative and you can use this accumulated success mechanic as many times as you want to do really cool things with your map. The last thing I'll show you is if you don't want to have to repeat all of this work again, or you can create a prefab out of this. I'll call this my pressure plate times four. And I use Matt to tell me that it's Monk's active tiles. Create a new actor. And then I'll grab all of my pressure plates. I'll put them down here. 
And I'm doing this so that I can reuse this whole thing later without all of the setup. And I'm going to grab my trigger token as my control token. Maybe I'll group them together. Now I'm going to open up my token attacher, lasso all of these things together. Now they should all move. Yep. And now I'm going to uh, go back to my pressure plate actor, open up the prototype token. As long as I have the trigger token selected, I can say assign token. And now I can drag my pressure plate mechanic into any map that I want and then just release them. Right. So I'll just release all of the attachments. And now I can deploy these pressure plates into, you know, a corner or around a maze or things like that. So it's just a way of reducing the amount of uh, rework that you have to do. Uh, if I did this for real, I'd probably take out some of those extra rules that, uh, that affected these tiles. Uh, but that's it. We just made a prefab of a pressure plate system along with a triggering token, an accumulated success trigger. So hopefully you guys end up making some great, great stuff. Would love you to stop by my Discord and show me some, some of the stuff that you guys are making. In the meantime, have fun making your maps.